the increment of the protection of midway wide will have an impact economically of both sides. Midway will have fair wage. They will have more money to satisfy their needs to take care of their family, there would be less ghetto. Also, for the host country, they will have more income taxes paid by migrants. And with this, state of origin will receive more money from the migrants. Transfer will be more important so transfer money will be able to help the origin country to develop taxes the the host country will have more money to make social services for migrants and citizens at the light of this explanation we can see that increasing the right of the migrant is a necessary action the result will be symbolically symbiotic combination where migrant will live a better life a nation will have a better GDP global development person. This is the next time of evolution. Thank you. Uh, they got all the 
got wedge. It got a, a, a lot of things that we do. Uh, you said, not you said uh, that violation should be a crime. Uh, now, is it a violation of crime? You, uh, you said that it should be. What about now? Is it a violation of crime now? Uh, yes, violation is a crime. Like uh, violation of rights of person is a crime. Like when we when when, when we not um, when we we we, we okay, what can I say that when we we still a uh, people come like when you violate a right of people you violate you 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 still you you still the right of the person. That is a very 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 fundamental crime. Uh, you mentioned cases of abuses. Which states have you uh, have you heard about this abuses, or uh, where did you get the information I, I, about the abuses and what kind of abuses? I, I already said that in Israel, in France, a lot of countries, in, in, in the and Can you tell us a particular uh, case of abuse? Where? A particular case of abuse that happened somewhere. Uh, um, in Israel, in Israel, in in. Um, in France, Israel. they 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 just vote vote a law that me, that Muslims can can't wear a hijab. Uh, uh, talking uh, about the complete topic, uh, for which countries uh, are you talking about? Which countries do you think that uh, will will uh, will take this and uh, raise the protection? Um, you can repeat the question. Uh, which countries? Where uh, are you talking about? Your platform. For which countries is is it made? Um, for the protection. For which countries? In which countries to be? Uh, Who 
maybe some we all know that maybe there would be violation of human rights even though he's not a migrant but if, if it is so then he has the right to go and uh, to sue someone who violated the rights in the court and so the court will protect the rights so they want to do governments to protect their right their rights but actually we already have those mechanisms and we don't need to do anything else about them all we got to do is uh, keep it as it was so uh, they already have the same wage. If he is qualified and he goes to a country, he gets the, the green card to work or visa, working visa, then he gets uh, the job if he is qualified and he gets the, uh, the wage that he deserves by his qualifications that he has. There's no differences be between migration and local. In this case, if the mi migrant, usually migration comes from poor countries, if the migration, uh, migrants from poor countries go to a developed country, for example, USA, we all know that you cannot find, uh, for example, a job in a bank where you can get a very high salary. Of course, he comes from a poor country, has no uh, schooling or education enough as it needs for that position. So what he has to do, he has to work in a farm and he gets the wage that he deserves by doing the, the job that he does best. So we don't see why we need to discriminate locals to get in the same wage for a job that he doesn't do better than the locals. So what we're doing here, what we want to do is to be equally locals and migrants as they are right now. They say that uh, there have been abuses. They mentioned an abuse in Israel. There are also abuses in each country uh, with human rights, not migrants, just uh, ordinary people. Those people go and apply or sue in courts those uh, men who violated those rights or governments. And the case is solved like uh, everything else. So we don't see a problem uh, uh, about that. About family, and the, about family gathering or uh, get it together. They uh, mentioned Israel then, but I'm not sure if Israel has that uh, same issue they don't let together. Of course, irregular, irregular migrants do not have the rights to get a family because we know they are illegal. So they are not regular migrants, meaning that regular migrants have the place where to stay, have a very uh, a, a good job where they can uh, probably uh, keep their family. So irregular migrants, of course, maybe he is a uh, job is not sure for the next day, so of course he cannot get his family with him when maybe he will starve or should go bankrupt because he cannot feed his uh, family. He's, uh, they were talking about xenophobia, something that we don't, we didn't know how they're going to stop that. Some xenophobia, discrimination, and all of this is usually in uh, state basis or maybe people basis, some people from different countries have xenophobia even though not only from maybe migrants but maybe from uh, neighbors that are regular migrants or already are uh, citizens of that country. So in this case I was, uh, uh, I really think they should give us an explanation how they're going to do this. Is there a very a policy or is it a, a policy that you are offering us to solve this problem or are you going to go by another convention or are you going to strengthen, uh, strengthen the laws that already are as we uh, consider okay? So how are you going to do this and when? It's very important to know, uh, are you talking about the status quo? Because we see the status quo is okay, we didn't, didn't give us any problem about the status quo and uh, didn't give a solution about any of those uh, problem. You said that if we didn't change the situation, there would be a clash of cultures. Of course, if a migrant goes from his uh, origin country living in another country, of course he has another culture. There will also, of course, there will be a clash of culture because he is already living in another, another country. So he cannot get all of his culture, all of his family, neighbors, relatives, relatives and everyone going to his country and living like they're living in their own uh, country. There will be a clash of cultures. Uh, this is globalization, interconnected world where people travel. We don't uh, necessarily have to be migrants, poor people, or people who go uh, uh, just to work. Might be maybe from rich countries living abroad just because they want to. They have all the rights they they uh, want. Uh, they have everything uh, cleared. So uh, I will take an example as USA. It's very liberal country where they have there is one of the biggest countries with uh, one of the most numbers of migrants and they seem to be living happy. Everyone uh, gets what it deserves, pays uh, uh, taxes like everybody else, no discrimination between jobs and wages, so we don't see a problem about this case.
or five of 20 euros, something like that. I, I forget the right number. This is a xenophobic law. So there is a problem. Another problem, Italy, Italy is sending back to um, Tunisian, Tunisian refugees who was fleeing the war at least. This is another problem. So I say no, there are a problem. There are problems in migration. And first negative, say um, and the convention of the UN convention, um, the UN convention is sufficient to protect the right of the migrant. No, it isn't. Be because what? Because none of the European team, the European country have voted this law. This law is not in a world though. So we can say no, it's not enough. Um, the first negative also say that uh, it's not hard for migrants who are not qualified to have underpaid, to be underpaid. I'm going to tell something. Uh, Sixty percent of people who is migrating already got a university degree. If you already got a university degree, you are quite qualified to work almost everywhere. So why, when you got the same CV? school could have been there someone you get underpaid it's not normal and in France they have voted a new law this is they call this law anonymous CV that means your name and your face don't appear in the CV why because they know there's a xenophobic um, um, a xenophobic situation on the country so we think we should protect we should protect the right of the movement to ensure that all human are equal um, I think that um, our resolution stay fixed. We should increase and increase the rights of the migrant. Why? This is going to benefit to everyone. This will be a symbiotic combination. You will benefit from the migrant. Why? The migrant will get more money because he will work for higher wages. He will get more money to help his family, to help his relatives to stay at his country, to transfer money at his original country. So this original country can invest this money for its own development. It will help equality the host country because the host country can get income taxes to um, to uh, to raise its GDP. So raising or increasing the right of the migrant and protecting them, this is the next step for the development and evolution. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, you guys want some time? One minute. Why is it not equal in this case? 
Why is that an equivalent state? Because you've got to respect the culture from other country. This is your This what is the way they should have the Thank you. Question. You said Italy and refugees. What? You said refugees in Italy, right? Refugees, yeah. 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 Why Continuous. migrant? Do you, the, the difference of refugees and, refugees and Italy? Uh, migrant, uh, refugees are migrant. So, are you talking about uh, bringing up a new convention, the Convention of uh, Migrants, or a law state by state basis? Or international convention? I don't understand the question. Okay. You said sixty percent of migrants get a degree. Yeah. Where did you get the statistics? I That's why it's impressive. Okay, okay. I get the statistics. Do you know how many migrants are in the world? Global box. www.wwww.com. The global box. Who made that research? Uh, that research might be, was made by uh, the first the beauty and the, okay, the council. Do you know how many Paris. migrants are in the world right now? Yeah, I know. How many? Uh, 200, 200 million. 200 million? Yeah. You said if they get more money by working, they transfer money to their origin place. Yeah, and, and for this, um, uh, for example, in, in Latin America, um, the amount of money transferred by migrants is more than the amount of hate. Thank you. Even my you want to get family so, together in migration place, destination place? Yeah, because so where is he going to send the money back home when his family is with him, as you are claiming? No, I see, I see. Some of them, some of them can come to stay. Yeah. Some of them come just to work and yeah. help their family. So, right now. So that, that don't pose any problem. Yes, right some now. of them are going to send money back. So what's the problem?
they actually presented the problem. Their problem was that the, the rights of the migrants are being uh, violated in that case that they are, uh, they are uh, not paid the same as the locals because of some reasons in uh, some states they mentioned it was, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was France and Israel. And that was the problem. And in a corporate debate, as soon as you mention the problem, you have to have a solution. During this debate, we heard all the problems. They said that uh, this is the problem. They are not paid uh, the same. But they never said that how this problem is going to be solved. I'd like to uh, talk about the International Convention as well. Uh, we said that there is a universal declaration of human rights, which all states of the, all states of the world, UN countries, have ratified this convention. Now, if there is a violation of this, uh, of this declaration of human rights, there are mechanisms to, uh, that can be used by the persons to make accusation about uh, this kind of violation. So I said about uh, the pre uh, as the previous speaker said, uh, there are uh, mechanisms that can be used, and uh, this way, if there is a violation of human rights, they can uh, they can use this mechanism to to make it clear about uh, to make clear the problems. As they said, it was uh, low salaries or something like that. We said that uh, we were talking about regular, regular migrants, that these kind of problems don't happen. That this is the status quo. If there is such a big problem that, then why is the number 200, 200 million of migrants, is, uh, why is this such a big number if there are such kind of problems that you mentioned? Also, it was mentioned that the Convention of Migrant Workers and members of, of their families, uh, and they said that they want to do the family gathering. Also, when they said that why didn't the states of the European Union already ratify this convention, I don't know any convention that was ratified within 20 hours of implementation. So, uh, this convention, as it started in the 2004, the number of the states ratifying this convention uh, came, uh, was raised up, so in a short time, probably all states will, will ratify this convention as well. Uh, they, during this debate, the affirmative team presented many problems, but never they showed the solution how they are going to do it. During this problem, they said that there is a problem with low salaries and they want to solve it by making uh, the salaries the same. They said that there was a problem of, with culture in France. They said that I said, if I'm not mistaken, that, that was a problem because uh, that, that was a cultural uh, problem, but there was any inequality in that problem because even the locals don't have the right uh, to use the, uh, uh, to use ISA. So this is not a problem. This is not an inequality in that place. It's, a, it's equality, and the same is a problem as the locals as the migrants. This isn't connect, connected with today's topic. Also, they, they said that they're going to solve all these problems, which to me sound like a perfect world, but they never showed how they're going to do it. They can't say that uh, we're going to create a perfect world, but uh, we're going to save the world, but it's, it's a secret and we're not going to sh show you. So they never showed how they're going to solve this, and they never showed when this is going to happen. Because if we're talking about the status quo, as our team mentioned, there was no such a problem, such a big problem when we're talking about regular migrants. If we're talking about the irregular migrants, of course there would be problems like that, because he's, first of all, he's not, uh, he has the status, he doesn't even have a status as migrant, he's illegal, and he doesn't have the right to even complain about any such a uh, violation because he is uh, an illegal migrant. What I said about the violation, violation in the beginning, the, affirmative, uh, the first speaker of the affirmative team said that violation should be a crime by the government, the government should make the violation a crime. Violation is already a crime and uh, they also are setting during the cross examination. So if there is any kind of violation, as our team suggested, there are courts, uh, there, there is the human courts of uh, law, there are other mechanisms that the state has, since they also uh, talked about state by state basis, not the uh, international conventions. So uh, there are uh, there's other mechanisms that can be used from the state if there are such violations. Also, uh, they said that uh, they said that uh, there are benefits because the, the state will benefit upon uh, 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 of, of taxes, and also the money he will send back to the family uh, will be will be beneficial for the state of origin. But they also said that they want to do family gatherings. They want to take families together. So if he takes his family in the state of destination. Who is going to send the, uh, his money? Where is going to send his money to? This is this is the part where the affirmative team will cover itself. Also, also about the salaries, they said that the salaries the salaries are not the same. Well, we said the qualifications. Every, every person has the right for qualification to apply for the job, and if he is qualified, he would be accepted. Thank you.
that there is some violation, never, yeah, never you said any simple case where this person had this right violated in this way. I never get that. Okay, thank you. Do you need, do you need that convent, the international convention uh, on the protection of the, of the right of migrant worker in the and the members of the family is valid for for both regular uh, legal and illegal uh, migrants. Of course, but as soon as that illegal, but that as soon as that illegal you said, migrant is going to be sent back. Why you said most of the migrants is illegal and they don't? I know I didn't say most of them. And they are don't illegal. need to have. You no, no, I didn't I think, say most of them. I think you misunderstood. I, I didn't say that they. I are. think okay. Like. You know the legal, the you know what the international convention was talking about. International convention on human rights. Uh, what what is the what is the why they why they why, why they put this law? Uh, can you rephrase the question, please? Why they why they have this law? Because well, tell me tell me the reason. Laws? Uh huh. I know I don't understand. It. Thank you. You have to uh, um, have a must um, pay attention to to reduce the uh, Thank I you. you very much. Thank you.
bucks. She used that for your preparation. Gum? No. Maybe you can check the words. Time is gone. Now we are creating the same story. We are big decisions. Increase the protection of immigrants' rights or not. The main point on this debate was about if there is a problem with immigrants' rights, if immigrants have the same rights or not, or have the same rights or not with the citizen. We are shown that any European country who present who have thirty percent of migration of migrant people, they didn't ratify the convention, the UN convention about migrant rights and their family, even they are legal or not. For this convention, it doesn't matter. That is human right. Being legal or not, that that doesn't mean that you didn't deserve right. The protection of your right. It's not enough. I wanna, I wanna know why the UN Convention think about it this now, the basic convention. And because they see that immigrant, the right of immigrants are not protected enough, they vote this convention. The European country who have 30% of immigrant people, they say no, we don't. We, are, we will not ratify this convention. That means we have all European migrants, the rights are not protected enough. They are under and other problems. Or pro problems as cultural pro problems. We said that um, it's not about immigrant or citizen, about each other. What friends? How many people, how many citizens citizen is Muslims? Uh, if they are 0, 0, 0.01 person, I don't know, there is more. France is a Catholic country. The majority of France is a Catholic. When they took this law, they are, they are attacking the cultural liberty, the liberty of association, the, liber the liberty to our religion of migrant people. It really do not matter for citizen because there is, I don't know, there are but a few quantity, just a little quantity of citizens who are Muslim and friends. That is a problem. We show many and many other problems. If there are problems, they should be solved. Okay, they will solve. First of all, ratify this convention by UN, UN country. That doesn't solve it because it's a problem. Why then we refuse? What they refuse to not abide, to not rescue, and, and because they, 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 they don't, they want to keep the status status quo. They don't want to to help the women to have the right, social and economic right, or uh, human right. They, they are right that make you human, right that you deserve just because you are a human, no matter if you are a woman or not. They are done. Even now, less human than citizen. If they are not less human than citizen, they do deserve the same right. Right? UN should you urge to get the UN Convention about immigrant right. There is other problem in the US about workers. And in Israel, there is a lot. In other in other countries, we have we have so many times the refugees well come from Tunisia, they are sending home. In home, there, 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 there is war. That's very unfair. That's problem. We should solve this problem. One way is ratification for the European country. Ratification this convention, and for the other country, if even they ratification this convention, the right are not protected enough as in the US. That should, uh, for the US, that should come. That should leave paper, this convention, this point. It must, it must come in reality. That should be a reality. This convention is just certificate and ratification in the US, but it's not a reality. 
migrant have a lot of problems. That's why this so migrant can uh, not able to land and and so business are zone. Those prisoners also is for white people, that's for Asian people, that's for black people. And most of the women, they like in the ghetto. That means they, they are not connected to them. All they want to work in one way. And the second way to put them is to make the reality the protection of the right. Thank you. Two left, huh? Two and a half left. Two left, right?
declaration for uh, for protection of migrants is uh, it's only a part. It's now only a part of uh, the Universal Dec Declaration of Human Rights. All I want to say is that uh, migrants aren't more than humans. They are humans like us, like all of us, and we're uh, we're equal. equal. We have uh, some uh, some differences, but uh, we can find diversity. Uh, uh, they talk about the regular and irregular uh, uh, regular and irregular migrants. Uh, I couldn't hear, or maybe I couldn't uh, understand that they uh, they uh, didn't really clarify uh, the regular migrants and the irregular migrants. Uh, of course, that the irregular migra migrants can't have uh, the same premises like uh, like the regular migrants or the local people because. Uh, in that way, some people will be discriminated. So, uh, if we if we don't want uh, discrimination, then uh, then uh, we don't have to raise uh, the protection. The race the race of protection is needed, but not in the way they uh, they said they could manage to do. Uh, they said also that uh, people go from poor to de develop uh, develop de develop countries. Uh, this uh, isn't this doesn't matter so much because we have heard uh, also people who are going from uh, more developed countries uh, to poor uh, poor countries because there aren't only the poor people who uh, who travel and who migrate to other countries. Um, uh, so uh, the convention. If we talk about the convention they man they mentioned the convention for uh, the rights of migrants, they uh, they didn't mention mention it at all at the first speech. Uh, uh, the first speech, uh, and they they all the time they talked about xenophobia. Uh, xenophobia is a problem that exists and has existed for a, a very long time. So uh, even if we uh, even if we ratify this declaration, uh, this convention, or uh, if we uh, fully respect the Declaration of Human Rights, we can't uh, just be uh, we can't just have up the uh, we can't just have up the xenophobia. Uh, they, uh, we don't think that this is a very uh, we don't think that this is a very a very big problem because there are 200 million uh, migrants and if uh, the situation is as they said we could have a World War III and uh, as I've uh, as I've heard read or seen right now uh, I haven't seen a World War III we're living in peace and uh, I hope you will continue living in peace thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cross the floor and shake hands with each other. Uh, we go outside. Okay? To the, the